Hey, how you doing? This is Steve, real estate agent with Keller Williams Malone Realty Group. Hope that you are doing well. I'm going to update you on what's going on in the market right now because I just got some uh, information in from the National Association of Realtors. Got it last Friday uh, regarding where we were nationally in July and what that means for where we are right here in North Georgia. So let me put on the glasses so I can read this. So according to NAR, the existing home sales from July or from June to July this year, I should say, was 24.7% higher from June to July. That's sales in that month. What does that mean? That's the strongest month of overall like sales growth at 24.7. That's the largest swing that they've seen in the history of the survey. They've been doing the survey since 1968. In the history of the survey, that is the highest bounce that they've seen from month to month. What does that mean? That means people are buying houses right now in July. And it's really, you know, from what we've seen numbers wise, that has not slowed down in August. What does that also mean? The numbers are 8.7% higher uh, this July from where they were last July. So the numbers are way up. Uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, when we had the coronavirus really kick off in March and April, it slowed that, that spring season. So in March and April, uh, you know, a lot of people on the sidelines, they jumped in in May and June. And then we had the normal people that would not jump in May and June. They jumped in. And everything's kind of been shifted just a little bit. So even though school's back here, we're getting close to the election, this market has just, everything shifted those couple months. And all bets are off this year as far as what's going on. And that's what we're seeing with these numbers. They're just, they're, they're much higher than they normally are. So more numbers. Because this is the interesting one. In July, the supply this year ended up being 21% lower than it was this time last year. And looking at the number of homes, you know, per person that are on the market in July, it was the lowest July inventory they've seen since the survey uh, started as well. So it's a really weird market in that they had such a huge spike in numbers, the number of people are actually buying houses, and then the number of houses are for sale are so much less. So it, you know, people aren't selling their houses, but the people who are buying are, are really wanting to buy, and they're buying houses, you know, at a crazy pace right now. And the other thing is median prices of the homes, the average prices, they're, they're up. The median price you know, nationally is about 8.5% higher this year than it was last year. And really, it's that lack of inventory that's driving the prices uh, across the country. And it's the, the record interest rates that are keeping the buyers in the pool. So that's really been, that's been the story this year is the, the interest rates. I mean, they've been at records or they've been just above those record lows and it's created crazy amounts of buying power for people. You figure, I wrote a, a blog last week, you figure that the interest rates right now are about a point and a half lower than they were just three years ago, okay? So at a point and a half, how much more buying power is that? If, you had a, if you're buying a $300,000 house right now, or I'm sorry, $300,000 house about three years ago with the, the rates where they were three years ago, you're looking at something in the neighborhood of a $1,500 a month payment. With the rates where they are right now, that same payment, could get you a three hundred sixty thousand dollar house, so an extra sixty thousand on the three hundred. That's an extra twenty percent of buying power that people have now versus what they had just a couple years ago. That's why there's so many buyers in the pool. That's why the buyers are there. That's why you're getting so many deals. But because of the corona and people still a little nervous about having people in their house, people still a little nervous about the economy, people nervous about the election, whatever the reason, they're just not selling their house right now. So it's kind of that perfect storm that's creating this crazy market. So those numbers we shared with you, those are national. We're going to drill it down locally and tell you what's going on. Right now, locally, uh, if you're in the market right now, if you're looking to buy a house, you know what's going on. We've got homes that they're coming on the market, they're getting multiple offers, uh, right out of the gate, and it's in you know a lot of areas across the metro, especially Gwinnett, North Fulton, for Scythe counties, uh, up in the parts of Hall, Jackson counties. If it looks the part, if it's staged right, it's going to go uh, with the market being where it is right now. So the the issue obviously is that we just there just aren't enough homes on the market. So if you've ever thought about selling your home, I know the big question is where would I go? You know we can figure that out. But the issue right now is, I mean, if you want to sell your home and get top dollar for your house, I mean, this is it right here. You, you know, multiple offers, you know, all over the place. No guarantees, obviously, but this is your time to really maximize the amount of equity you have in your house. And if you're buying it, this is a great time to get in because of the rates, but you just have to pack your patience. You have to be ready to get in there and be ready for multiple offer situation. If you see a great house, 
and it's in a great area, looks the part, and it all, 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 checks all the boxes. It doesn't just check all the boxes for you. It checks all the boxes for a whole bunch of people. So be ready to pack your patients. Be ready to make an offer. Be ready to take a quick swing. If you need to think about it, this may not be your market. You may want to wait a little bit. But if you need to be ready to take a swing, be ready to go ahead and grab that house because that's the market that we're in. So whether you're on the buy side or the sell side, a lot of craziness going on in the market. We can talk to you about what that means for you. Give me a call, 470 Two three three four four zero nine. Steve with the Malone Realty Group, Keller Williams, Atlanta Partners. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.